Hello, I'm Megan Cox with the Federal Trade Commission. Today we are here to talk about stalkerware, or stalking apps, which are mobile applications that can be installed to spy on others. I'm here with Jacqueline Connor to discuss a recent settlement with a developer of three stalking apps. The FTC recently announced a settlement with about three stalking apps. Jacqueline, can you tell us what this case was about and why consumers should be concerned about stalkerware? Sure, thanks Megan. Yeah, so last week the FTC announced a case against a company called Retina X and its owner. And we alleged that Retina X developed and sold three stalking apps that were installed on consumers' phones to monitor or spy on consumers without their knowledge or permission. Once installed, these stalking apps could take a lot of information from someone's phone like your text messages, your GPS location, and photos, and send them off to someone else who was monitoring you. So that's a lot of information to collect. How can a consumer know if a stalking app is installed on their mobile device? Well, it's hard to know because the whole point of these monitoring products is to make them act surreptitiously, which means that you don't know that they're on your phone. So you have to look for other clues to see if they're on your phone. On your phone, a consumer can look to see if weird things are happening, such as your battery draining a lot faster, or on your cell phone bill, if there's unexplained charges, that might be a hint. Outside of your phone, if you are in a relationship with someone who has had physical access to your phone, and they have more information about you, where you've been, who you've been talking to, and you don't understand where they got that information from, that might be a hint that a stalking app has been installed on your phone. What should a consumer do if they think a stalkerware app is installed on their mobile device? I can appreciate that it's really scary if you think that something might have been installed on your phone, but consumers can do a few things. First, they can check to see if the security protections on their phone have been circumvented. A lot of these products only work if security features are broken on your phone, and so there's apps called root checker apps that you can download and use to see if this has happened on your phone. Secondly, consumers can get help from law enforcement or domestic violence advocates. They are very helpful with seeing if your technology is being misused. They can also help you create a safety plan if that's what you need. Third, consumers can always buy a new smartphone if they want, but that can be very expensive, so an alternative option is to factory reset your phone. This means that you are reinstalling the factory software on your phone as if you just got the phone brand new. Do not back up your backup of your phone because if the spyware is there then you're just reinstalling it and you're back in the same problem. Those are some great tips. Thank you. Thank you for watching. For more information please visit ftc.gov.